Okay. Who we was moving to? Let's go on and talk about Gerard Carmichael because Craig oh. been waiting on this all day. So listen, you know, I've been watching the Gerard Carmichael show. And I have to say that there are elements of the show that I really do enjoy. Craig, you need to just loan dick him one time. <laughs> you need to just find that man. Because we talk about him every week on the show. <laughs> because this show You need to find on. him, loan dick him, make him suck your dick. Because he's a fag. <laughs> yeah. Lick his ass one or two times. Well, no, nah, because it's been too, too much white pipe being now. <laughs> <laughs> you may have you may have get, may have get a little something on your lip. <laughs> you may have Nestle Crunch around the mouth. It might be a little too peppery down there. <laughs> no Nestle Crunch be all around there. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. But I love how forthcoming he is. I love how honest he is. To me, I feel like he has ripped the lid off of the gay community so everybody can look in and see what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. Like, he's being very honest and transparent about his hookups on Jack. I mean, Grinder. Oh, Grinder. Because Jack is black. Right. He's on Grinder <laughs> with the white. Jack is black. But I'm also. Hold on. Jack is black. <laughs> Correct. Now, over in Europe, girl, Grinder is mixed. Wait a minute. You were there? I was in France. No, no, no. I mean, in Grindr. No, I was not on Grindr. Oh, I'm just trying to figure I, it out. No, no, no. I was not on no, Grindr. No, so I was like, you were there? No, no, no. I knew what you were saying. You were there? No, no, no. I, oh, girl, no, no, no. I, I was, was trying not. to figure it out. No, I was not. But <laughs> I was told that Grinder is more so for the blacks over there. That they don't really use Jacked. Oh. The blacks. Jacked is definitely active over there. Mm. But back to Gerard Carmichael. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't think that he has an attraction to black men. I really don't. And I've said this before, but it's become abundantly clear because there's a scene where he's he's on this road trip with his father, mm -hmm. his, his birth father. And he's talking about, uh, well, you want to see my boyfriend? You want to meet my boyfriend? Would you want to meet him? And so he says, well, here's a picture of him right here. He's just getting out of the shower. I think that's too much. And I think sometimes as black queer people, we try to force that on our loved ones, namely our parents. I think you have to kind of allow your parents to come around. I'm not saying if they're abusing you and they're being nasty to you and they're telling you you're going to hell. I'm not saying all of that, but I do think that we need to leave space. We need to leave room for them to grow and to understand what we've just shared with them, whether you're trans, whether you're gay, whatever it is. Because it took me 22 years to get comfortable in my own skin. So how, in my skin. Right, so I can't expect my mother or my family or my loved ones to be okay in two days. Bitch, it took you 22 years. And I just feel like he's pushing shit in his face. He was like, well, here he is, and the boy is in like these little thong underwear. Well, I think it's Bob wants to see that. Well, I think it's because he's so comfortable in himself. Right. Now. He's trying to make everybody get where he is. is. Yeah, you know. And I think that takes time. It's just kind of the same way. Here again, let, let me do Go this, ahead. Let me do this disclaimer. Mm -hmm. This is my show. Uh-huh. <laughs> So yes, when we when we're having topics about things in the world, I'm gonna bring it back around to me mm. and, and and talk about my experiences with things, just like with my mother. Mm -hmm. My mother is still getting around. My mother birthed me. Yeah, I'm not over here policing my mama down like a dog, like this and the other, whatever. My mother birthed me. She gave me my name. My mother is in a great space of of she. I, I watch her now. It's she, her, her. You see? Oh, it? I see it. And she says Madison. She says Madison. Is she her her? But if my mama want to call me boo until or she'll the, say girl. Oh girl, if my mama want to call me boo until the day I leave this earth, I have to respect the fact that my mother birthed me for one, and then only, and then for two, my mother is going to protect me, whether she calling me Tim, T. S. Madison, motherfucking boo or whatever, because <laughs> mm -hmm. my mother is very much so. If y'all disrespect mine, mm -hmm. we got problems, problem. mm -hmm. yep. and. If mine don't want to go and this is a family reunion and mine don't want to go over there because y'all want to call her Tim mm -hmm. and y'all want to stay in those place, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. You'll just have to see Boo on TV because mm -hmm. my mother is extremely proud of me. Mm -hmm. Extremely. And those were her words too. Yes. You, have, words. you will have to catch Boo on TV. Yeah. You have to listen to Boo on Beyonce album. Come on, I'm gonna tell you she look on Boo on Beyonce album. <laughs> you have to catch Boo on Beyonce album. Yeah. You have to do this. This is how you gotta catch Boo. Cause if we walk in the room and y'all Tim and Boo and Boo about face, I'm about facing with Boo. Uh huh. Yep. And so my thing is, when I came, when I told my mother that I was gay, I spoon fed her the information, and I just simply mean, like. 
once I told her, I left it alone. I didn't tell her, oh, I had a date. Like, she might call me and say, well, what did you do this weekend? And I'd be like, oh, I went to the movies. Now, it, it was a date. I may have gone on the dinner date. I may have gone to the movies. But I didn't throw that in her face. I wasn't like, oh, I had a date this weekend. I went out with this guy. No, I went to dinner. I went to the movies. I think some of y'all try to push Can them. I have your hand ready? My mother lives with me. Right. Mama, I got company. <laughs> well, well, that's what I'm saying. My mother knows now. And, and like, Mom, I, I got coming. company coming. <laughs> but I'm saying in the beginning. I think in the beginning, we try to rush them. Ma, I got company coming. <laughs> you may hear some oohs and ahs. Some of it may be from me. Most of it may be from him. But I got company coming. Right. But that's a different. That's at a different juncture, right? In your journey. Honey, I have company. <laughs> I just think that sometimes we do, we do, we, we push them too oh, hard and too quick. I need you to go in your room. <laughs> I have company. I'm about to fuck. Right. I'm about to fuck. <laughs> what you about to do, girl? I'm about to fuck. I remember you said I couldn't do these things in your house, but now we're in mine. <laughs> Back then, I was a young girl. Ah, <laughs> what were you, girl? Back then, I was a young girl. Uh -huh. But now I'm a grown woman. Right. <laughs> and I'm about to fuck. <laughs> Back then, I was a young girl. But now I'm a grown woman. And I'm about to fuck. So I need you to go in your room, girl. Close the door. You may hear some oohs and ahs. Some may come from me. Majority will be from him. Don't be afraid. Until you hear me say, get this nigga out of here! Now, when Gladys was at your house, honey, did you not have company? I sure did. <laughs> Overnight company. <laughs> and did you hear, did she hear any oohs at all? I don't know. She may have been listening. <laughs> she may have been, but I definitely had overnight company. But here, I, at the time, I had a man. But, but here's the gag. Mm. You couldn't do it in her house, but you're definitely in yours. Oh, but I've done it in hers. Oh! <laughs> so did I. <laughs> I've definitely done it. Really? Really? All in that all that trash, and you still did it. Girl, I'm grown. <laughs> she, I was grown then. <laughs> Okay. Whoop me now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Get you some air earbuds. Earbuds. Oh. But so anyway, in this episode, he's he's talking to his dad and he's telling him that but he says some really, really poignant things too. What it what were they? Poignant. Is that P O I N P O I G N A N T? That's it. Oh. So here's the thing. Like college. Right. <laughs> So his mom and dad were married for like over 30 some years. And I believe they're still together. They live in the house. And Gerard <laughs> said, I don't feel accepted in the house and I pay for the house. Because his mother is like this devout Christian and she's always telling him about God and he's going to go to hell and she doesn't agree with the lifestyle. But girl, you living in his house that he's paying for. And his father, Gerard says in this ep episode, Dad, you had a whole nother family. For the majority of the time that he was with his, his mother, he had a whole nother family, he had four children. The children went to school with Gerard. Gerard didn't even know that these kids were his siblings. The other kids in the school knew they were his siblings. Oh, wow. So you mean to tell me his mother was okay and, they were, and was able to stay in this marriage with his father, but she can't accept you? This is the shit we talk about all the time. Now you can overlook the fact that this man had four children outside of your marriage but you can't take that he's a fact of a homosexual and listen you already know how it goes in our community be everything but gay correct we'll take you back go out there you killed somebody come on home that's right but you, you just stole something but you just can't come get over on. the fact that he's a you fact. gay oh uh, uh you can't come don't come in here in my house with that and so do you know how you color sound and look do a saying and doing and saying shit like shit. that so you mean to tell me you can gangbang, you can rape, you can kill, maim, and destroy, and you are welcome. You you can come on back to the picnic. Don't you bring no man in this house. Don't you be gay. Don't you do that. You don't. God don't like that. That's right. But he don't like all that other shit either. <clears throat> oh, you don't went too far. Right. Now you've crossed the line. Now you've crossed the line. You went down there and stole that old lady's pocketbook. You, you, you just was having a hard time. You found an excuse. You robbed that convenience store. Oh, we was going through it. He had lost his job and he had child support to pay. You raped that girl over there. She lied on him. My son would never do that. 
You got five and six baby mamas. Oh, he was just spreading his oats. He was a handsome boy. Uh-huh. He got a boyfriend. What? Oh, God. Oh, take me right now, God. Oh, God, no. Uh-huh. Oh, take me right now, God. Please take me, God. Right. God, right now, my son is a homosexual. He can't be a homosexual. God, no. Take him now. Take mm -hmm. him now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. Yeah. That's how y'all look. Right. Yeah. But it was, I mean, this last episode, it was, it was really good. And his father couldn't handle the conversation. He said, I want to go home now. He said, you brought me out here because you wanted to talk about this. It was, it was powerful. But I also think that that's part of the reason why Gerard has abandoned the black community to a degree. Oh, so you find justification in him in a band? I didn't say I was. Ju it was justified. It I, sounded like I, it. I just understand. Fag, it sounded like no, it. No, no, no. I just understand. It sounded like it. That nigga is from South Carolina. He's blackity black. He's black like that? Yes. All that racism and shit down there, bitch. You can still f smell the Confederate flag down there, bitch. Wait, what does it smell like? Cigarettes? White people's house. Oh, what, what? Craig, wait a minute. You act as if you've worked there. Worked where? In white people's houses. Never that. Oh, you wouldn't do it? <laughs> Never. Shit. Give me the check. Work in their house doing what? <laughs> Run it to me. Be be their maid. <laughs> Would you like to come down here and be my maid? Would you like to come? Boo. Huh? Would you like to come be my maid? 